All right, the next thing we're going to learn how to do is how to make a page go to a third location by visiting another page. I'll give you an example. When you hit the apple to say eat, notice that some of these buttons, like where it says Italian, they're all capitalized and they go to a third page. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Fettuccine. You button, you touch something, see a location, and it would take you to another page. So you could store 82 more things there. A good example of this would be names. When you hit the mine button, what if you knew you had a whole bunch of first grade friends, second grade friends, girlfriends, church friends, you know, cousins, that sort of thing. So you knew you were going to fill this page up and you wanted this this third location or third sequence in. Uh, mid sequence is another way of sometimes people call it. But anyway, you want to go three deep. So let's just do it together and uh, hopefully you'll understand when and why you do this. Go ahead and hit the mine one time. And then I'm going to go over two locations. And I'm going to make this location take me to my second grade friends. So right here. So now that I can see the blank location and I know why I'm going to put it there, I now go over here and I touch right here where it says menu. And then I hit right here, the fourth one down, where it says edit page. I just touch that. And it says, what location do you want to program? Of course, they're, they're going to say blank, which so I want to go to a blank one. So I've already decided I'm going to go down two buttons to make it a little visual, visually isolated. I touch that button, and then I'm going to say create a new button right here. Great, I got into here where I can edit the button. Let's start at the very top and touch button label. Now, you do want this to be all caps, so touch your caps lock, because the all caps tells the individual that it's going to go to another location and it's not going to talk. So it, all caps or caps lock. Now type in the word first. And then your space grade. All right, so now I've got it. This is going to be the button label first grade. It put the message in for me. I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to minimize my screen. I could listen to that pronounce, but it's not going to say first grade, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I'm, I'm going to select an image here. So I select the image, go right to that magnifying glass. First grade doesn't have something, so touch there, touch right here, and then delete. Right here's a delete. So now just delete out first grade. I believe you can do a one, type the word one, and then do search right here. You can do a search here or here. This one works for me. All right, so the, the, the label's in there now, and I have a nice picture representing first grade. Now I'm going to take my finger and scroll down. And I'm scrolling down to the very bottom. And right here it says speak message, but I don't want it to speech the message. So I touch right there. What I want it to do, and this is kind of nice, they're alphabetical. You take your finger and scroll up. You want it to visit a page. So right here it says visit. You, you touch there. And it says, what page do you want me to visit? Well, you don't want to do one of these because they're already used for another sequence. So you touch right here in the corner, there's this little plus sign is saying, I want to make a new page here. So touch right here where the plus sign is. Now you're going to name your page. That's the very first thing that comes up. So touch here where it says page name. Call it first grade. It actually doesn't matter if you worry about caps here. It wouldn't matter. You're not going to see this. Now you can minimize your screen again. And that's all looks pretty good. So you're just going to hit save. And then you're going to do save again. And go ahead and say continue saving. And now say done right here. And now you'll notice if you start from the very beginning, I went back. If you hit mine, I see the first grade shows up. And then it takes me to this blank. This is where I could store. Now remember, we know how to store. This is where I could store something in there like John or something. We know how to store already. If you're not, you want to watch that video first. I'm just going to go ahead and do it quickly. I'm not even going to worry about putting a picture there. I just want you to see that John John is there. So I hit the mine. I see first grade and I hit mine. John. Sometimes it would have been, maybe it makes it nice to make the color, uh, this background a different color. So, you know, you when we were in here under the that mid sequence when we were in there editing. One of the things we could have done is where it says body color right here. We could have potentially changed that body color. 
to something that would stick out a little more. It's just one little thing to think about doing. All right. John. One more time, just so you can make sure you know how to do it. Let's say you want to add your, your, your fourth grade friends. You hit mine. You find a location that's blank that you want to program. You hit menu. You touch the edit page. Touch the blank spot you've decided to use. Then you're going to say create a new button. Start at the very top where it says button label. Turn your caps lock on. Type in whatever grade you're doing. I did third grade this time. Now, minimize your keyboard so that you can now scroll down to where it says select image. Touch there. Then go to the magnifying glass to search. Doesn't seem link for third grade, so touch there so you can get rid of that. Use your delete. Type in something like a three or something. There's no one answer here. I'm going to try a three this time. And then do search. Hmm. I don't know if I like any of those. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Well, this one will work for today, but I'm not sure I would have done that one again. All right, now scroll down with your finger. And while you're in here, it's probably best to go ahead and touch the body color. Make it color that sticks out. Keep scrolling to the very bottom where it says speech message. You don't want that. You want it to visit a page. So touch there. They're alphabetical. So take your finger and scroll down to find the word visit. There it is. It's visit. So you touch there. And you, these are all the pages that exist. You don't want any of those because they're already working with another button. So you hit plus so you can make a new page. And you name your new page Something you can remember. I'm just going to do third. Hit save. Hit save again. Continue saving. And oftentimes it's going to say that because it sees that word as a second word. Hit done. And now when you start with the mine, you can go to third grade. Now you can program all your third grade friends in here. Okay. I hope that helps you learn how to store something with a mid sequence or 3D or as a category. Um, using the visit tool.